cold, <laughs> but I'm not stopping when you can see nuggets. <laughs> We forget that waking up each morning is the first thing we should be grateful for. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today we will be looking for gold underwater, but what will make this day a little bit more special is that I have decided to give away all the gold I find today. No matter how blah, 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 no matter how big or how small, I'm going to give it away. Now, the only thing you have to do to enter is follow the Facebook page and that's it. And I already know a lot of you don't use Facebook and choose not to use it and that's okay. I will be hosting some YouTube exclusive giveaways in the near future and the truth is, if I want to take this Pioneer family as far as I want to take it, I do have to promote the page where you're going to find all the extra content. So with that said, let's get in the water and find you some gold. I decided to start looking where I left off in my last underwater video. The gold was good, so why not? It also helps when you put a fresh battery in your camera before starting a new day. I removed the piece of bedrock that they were sitting in and I just found a whole lot more gold. Check this out. <laughs> Look at all of that. Holy cow. Although they're not very big, they're still beautiful and they do add up. <laughs> And as you can see, there's lead in this pocket too, so take note, heavy things will sit with heavy things. I almost can't explain how relaxing this is. You just float there, wave at the gravel, and it gives you gold. These areas where rocks are packed together like this is what I'm interested in. This tells us nothing moved in a while, which means there could be more gold hidden here. But unfortunately, not this spot. I just found one that's really shallow. Sometimes the gold will just find you. <laughs> That one was super easy to get. I found this tiny hairline crack where two pieces of gold were really stuck. Oh, make that three pieces. Uh. 
So after I found my way in, I was able to save all the gold that was in there. Since I found gold right here, I wanted to check next to it, only a little bit deeper. In this particular spot, I have to hold my breath to get down, well, especially when you may have found your first nugget. And there it is, our first nugget of the day. It's cold, but I'm not stopping when you can see nuggets. Oh no. Well, I lost my tweezers. Figures. Now this piece was really difficult to pick up because the prongs on the tweezers were now bent. And that's what I get for smacking a mysterious cable. The deeper I went, the harder it was to keep all this sand away, but the more gold I did saw. If I can get my dredge permit, I could run all this material in seconds. So until then, this spot will have to wait. For our next spot, I'm working in a shallower area but I have had luck here before. After moving a bunch of rocks and not finding anything else, I did manage to find a coin. Which was packed in there tight. I think it's a penny 
or something. Cool. Here is another example of a spot with packed rocks that I'm always interested in. But the question is, is it going to be worth it? It was not worth it, but it was worth it. <laughs> now this spot was much better as there were packed rocks and actually more than zero amounts of gold. <laughs> When you find pieces that don't fit up your straw, you just have to take the lid off. Okay, this piece just wanted to be found. So moving on, I spent quite a bit of time cleaning out this bedrock bowl. Luckily, there was a deep crack at the bottom of it. Definitely worth checking. Bingo! That was easy! My fingers are so numb, I can't even... I have my tweezers this time! Now to make sure there's nothing else in there. Nothing that I can see. All right, it's that time again. I'm getting out of the water. I'm getting too cold. <laughs> it's gonna get dark soon and you know what? We found you some gold. So let's go back to the house and see how we did. Okay, back at the house now. Before we get to work, I just wanna quickly show you guys something. Look what recently came in the mail. It's a silver plaque from YouTube for passing 100,000 supporters. I just wanna say thank you so much for your support. I cannot do this without you and I look forward to see where we can take this in the future. Now, let's look at some gold. All right, check it out. Some a beautiful gold from British Columbia. We even got two nice chunks in here, so this won't be easy to let go, but I'm sure whoever gets it will be pretty happy, and that makes me happy. Also, some other stuff that we pulled out of the river to make sure everything is clean. Let's weigh it. Starting with our bigger piece, I'm gonna guess one gram. 1.28. All right, that's pretty good. Second piece, I'm gonna guess 0.3. .3. 
0.86. Okay, so almost a gram. I'm way off. All right, now we're just gonna do all together. Gonna make sure I tear that to zero. And then I can't spill it like I normally do. Oh, I did a pretty good job. Total weight is 4.45 grams. That is, that is actually pretty good. So four and a half grams of gold is pretty darn tootin' for a gold giveaway considering how easy it is to enter. Now, I know this is no big boulder of gold that was found in sand, but that's because this gold is real. The only thing you need to do to be entered to win this free gold is to follow us on our Facebook page. I will announce the random winner two weeks from today's release date. And if you don't have Facebook or Instagram, don't worry. I will be holding some YouTube exclusive giveaways in the future. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming up in the future. So please don't hesitate hitting that subscribe button and even leaving your ideas in the comment section below. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, good luck and I'll see you later. Well, I lost my tweezers. <laughs>